left, out of bounds on the left, water on the right, bunkers, I mean, growth everywhere. You like, uh, yeah, only good things can happen here. Good times. <laughs> Happy days. Happy day. Easy all. Let's see it. Come on, let's see it. Uh, I don't know what we're going to see, but uh, yeah, more or less you try to pay my the point that you chose and try to hit the right trajectory. Oh, it's a flush. Let's hear it. Oh. Let's hear it. Come on. Having said that, that wasn't necessarily. I mean, you got a good break there back in 1990. A break. <laughs> I'm trying to. The break of the century. Yeah. <laughs> so that wasn't really the issue. But how were you no. feeling walking up there? Well, listen, first of all, I didn't know where the ball was. Obviously, I knew it touched land because if not, uh, they would have signaled something. And when I arrived, I was on the right hand side. I was on 17, it's pretty much the, the, the second cut, which is very rare on the, you know, on the links course. But, uh, the ball was sitting up like on the tee peg and mm -hmm. I was coming from the right hand side, the angle was great, you know, there's no way I could see the out of bounds left. All I had to do was take over the water, which what I thought, and uh, and I thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the water out of play and I'm going to hit it over and whether I finish in the bunker, whether I finish on the green somewhere or, or in the right, it makes no difference. Well, it did make a difference. Yeah, yeah. any any thought of the layup? It just wasn't on your mind? You just it wasn't saw on it. my mind. The, the fairway was diagonal and, uh, you know, and it wasn't it wasn't that difficult to shot, to be really honest. I mean, it's a four iron. I, Far line 186 to carry the water. I was 2 210 for the flag. It was it was nothing. So of course two iron can you know look like oh my god it's got a two return on the club face. But how many two iron uh, we hit in our life and especially during that week as well. You know we hit so many of those trying to chase the ball, trying to keep it under the wind and and from the wind across trying to keep it under control. So uh, the, I I didn't think the difficulty was there. You know it was without counting on the railing of the grandstand and and all yeah. the rest. I mean, have you developed a fear of railing since that point, or? <laughs> well, I'm not looking at them no. anymore. <laughs> How far have we got? I'm going to wait for our producer's going to tell me. Same distance, 186. So uh, are we are we, are we we laying up this time? Surely we're laying up this time, no? Are no, we going? come on. We go, what are we doing, folks? Are we going or are we laying up? Oh, I want you to go for it. We've got to do it. <laughs> laying up, really. I mean, you do it twice, you do look a bit of a fool if you make the same mistake again. But he's going to take it on because that's the way you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, if he takes it on, it well, doesn't work then, out. I'm going to feel you bad. Got, you got to understand English, my second language. What, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing coming. But Dave, right. actually, if it goes wrong, this is our fault as well now because we were here to help him. Listen, he yeah, can't. Exactly. He we're can't for you. Looks beautiful. It's right down it. It's got to be good. It's got to be good. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Go on. Get over. Get over. Oh, you laid up anyway. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> you laid up anyway. No, that's genius. That's, that's genius. I don't believe we're going to hit the pitch shot over, are we? No. <laughs> no, I think we'll leave it at that. Ladies and gents, I think uh, that's pretty special. Probably deserves a big round of applause. For Thank John you. Thank you.